So this is a really good example of how uh, all you have to do is be patient and take your time. This horrible, uneven, cross-hatching coloring. Uh, I use the same color and I was just gentle, that's all. That's all you have to do to coax out a really good uh, layer. You just be gentle. Yeah, that's about it. I decided to do the red. Um, first of all, because it's a big area and I was kind of dreading it because it's like that little green splotch in the back. Um, I just don't like doing big areas. And second of all, because I knew that if I did the necklace, I would get bogged down into the details and that's not what we want. That's not what I'm going for. Um, I think I'm going to add some yellow tints later as well. And uh, still planning to shade with brown, but I just wanted to, I don't know, send some encouragement out because it's not, um, I could be coloring while I'm doing this. Uh, yeah. If you do something and you really like the sketch and you're like, uh, oh man, I can't revisit it. I messed it up. No, you didn't. I'm rotating my pencil as I go along. Do you hear that? Tiern and Nog is in the fireplace. Because uh, I can feel it getting duller, and that is not quite a... Uh, the tip is not sharp enough for me, but... So I'll have to put the phone down to um, to re-record soon. I mean to re-sharpen my pencil. Oh my goodness, I'm uh, I'm trying to ignore the phone, which is right in front of my face. My peripherals going nuts about it, uh, and I'm trying to focus on getting an even color, fuzzing my eyes a bit because that's a trick you use when you when you um, are putting down a layer so that you can, like where you haven't put it down, that really pops. Hmm, I got to erase that. Where's my eraser? Where did you go? I took a break to clean my desk a little bit and to clean the upstairs because my back was really starting to hurt from sitting here. And I have my eraser somewhere. It exists. I mean, I have plenty of other erasers, but that's... Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. It somehow got in my, my pen thing. Um, so this little part, I wanted to kind of accent the... Um, oh, you can't see it. All the subtlety's gone. I wanted to kind of accent that... There we go. That's the uh, curly cue of the hair. And I realized that I didn't do that here. So I just need to erase a little bit. I got this, it's a unicorn horn blush brush at the dollar store a few years ago. Because I still want the, uh... is this the right color? Yes, this is what I want. Um, because I want to carry that over, that light bit, over to here as well. Um, also, I've been using mainly, uh, what do you call, Karen Dosh, but my polychromo set is bigger than my Karen Dosh set, so for the larger areas um, and for some other colors that I don't have in the Karen Dosh, I'm using polychromos. Because I started with Polychromos anyway. They're both really good light fast brands. Uh, this is a long video. Um, but basically, here's where we are. Uh, it's going to take a while. <laughs> but it'll be okay. Once I get past this base layer, then I can start doing fun stuff like shading and wondering what I'm doing. Because I still don't think I have a handle on this right now. It's mostly just intu intuitive. 
uh, but it seems to be working.